Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually 4X your view counts using good thumbnails. Your thumbnail is the second most important part of your video, so it's important that you get it right. Yeah, Mr. White, yes, science. Because if one person doesn't click it, you never know, that could have been a qualified prospect that could have gave you five, six, even like seven figures if you're a big agency. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So like I said earlier, your thumbnails and your video titles are the second most important part of your entire video. The most important part is the quality of your content but nobody's gonna watch your video if you have a shit thumbnail and title in the first place you can show people how to make a million dollars step by step but if you have a bad thumbnail and title you won't get anywhere what most people fail to understand is that when people scroll they're looking at thumbnails 90% of the time only after the thumbnail catches their attention they'll read the title you need to use the thumbnail to capture attention and then the title to give them just enough info so that they click the video let me show you what a good thumbnail looks like. This is a thumbnail we did for one of our clients, Daniel Fazio. So as you can see, we got big text, we got a graphic, got numbers. So I'm gonna break down exactly what I did with this thumbnail and why it's working so well. I told people what the video was about using only one word, steps. I used graphics and images to showcase the meaning of the video. So I used the striped screenshot that shows how they're going to the moon. I showed a graphic in the back that shows like a green like stock market line. And then overall, if you look at this thumbnail, you can just tell I'm saying these are the three steps to get to 50K a month. And then this stripe graph shows that they know how to get to 50K a month, right? If somebody sees this thumbnail, they'll instantly know what I'm talking about, even if there's no title. That's why it's so good. And then on top of that, the combo of colors are eye catching. So we have yellow, we have green, We've got some yellow in the background, got hints of red. It's very different from every other thumbnail you see when you search up videos like this. And finally, I used a high quality image of the client. He has a microphone which places him as an authority. It shows like he knows what he's talking about. And overall, it's just a good thumbnail. Like that's everything. I just laid everything out step by step. If you steal this, you will make money. So this thumbnail was so good that people were complimenting it on Twitter. So shout out Ayub if you're watching this and shout out Mr. Visionary. But yeah, so this is Cold Email Wizard. He posted the video on Twitter and then two people were saying, yeah, it's so good. And yeah, here's another example. This is one of my first videos on YouTube after I started my agency. So I was talking about how I signed my first client after 23 days and I got a 10.5% click through rate at the time of this screenshot, which was uh, mid March. And then I'm going to break down why this video thumbnail got such good click through rate. So I told them I got my client in 23 days and anybody who started an agency, anybody who started a business to get your first like hint of success 23 days in that's really huge so that catches people's attention next the viewers instantly start imagining holy sh i can sign my first client in 23 days too i'm basically playing on their imagination with this thumbnail the title then specifies what business model i was talking about i also included a picture of myself and i made sure it was pretty big because i know off of this picture and even as you guys can tell right now i'm pretty young i'm 18 years old so when people see this they go like yo this guy's young he signed his first client in 23 days why can't i sign him too right and then boom i get the click right that's how i'm ranking and i'm actually getting clicks for this video another thing i want to mention is look at the graph right so this graph right here you see how the views don't stop going up. That means I'm ranking in search and getting passive views as I sleep, okay? This video has over 1K views now. This screenshot, once again, was from mid-March. I did this using YouTube SEO, a high quality video, a good thumbnail, and a good title. But real quick, if you want results like these, I just wanna let you know that I scaled a coaching slash consulting offer from 30K to 75K a month using YouTube. And if you don't believe me, you can watch this video interview here I did with my client. Shout out Charlie if you're watching this. And if you're a business owner or a personal brand and you want someone to take over your entire content marketing process from A to Z, from long form to shorts to strategy, you name it, I'll do everything for you. You should check out my website. I guarantee you I'll get you 10 to 30 qualified sales calls every single month or you don't pay. That's it. Back to the video. Here's another example. We got Eman Gazi. He's really good at thumbnails. If you ever need thumbnail inspiration, go to Eman's channel. Don't copy him like, you know, word for word or picture for picture, however you want to call it, um, but use him as inspiration, right? So here's how you can create killer thumbnails in seven steps. First things first, you need to have four words or less. Basically four words is the maximum, but the closer you can get to zero words is actually better. And you want to make sure if you're using words, they're high impact. So you can see here, he said 10K a month, which technically isn't really words. It's using numbers and numbers are really good. So 10K a month, that's a really big number for beginners who are usually doing like $0 per month. Next, visuals are key. So you can see here he included, can I zoom in real quick? Yeah. You got a phone here. It shows like 10K, 10K again. Like this is a cool graphic. It shows like the stock chart. I'm pretty sure this is like 
a tweaked uh, photoshopped robin hood screenshot but anyways um, visuals are key, right? So you want to use icons and or graphics in your thumbnail to show what you're talking about. I did that earlier with Daniel's thumbnail. I used the stripe graph. I used the green graph in the background. So you get the idea. Next, you want to make sure your text is big, bold, and super readable. So his text is super thick and it's also white and the background is dark. So it's a completely different color from the background, right? It's easy to read 10 K a month. You catch it from like far away. You'll see it. And then next you want to keep it simple. So you want to remove as many unnecessary elements as possible. Iman is super good at doing this because he really like, for example, just look at this thumbnail, 10 K a month, no other words or anything, right? You can already tell he's going to show you how to get to 10 K a month. So next, this kind of ties into big, bold and readable, but you want to format your text so that it's readable, right? You want to add a drop shadow. You can even add an outline, a gradient, and then an inner glow. Overall, just do whatever you can to make sure the text is super easy to read. So next, you want to make sure you're visually pleasing. You want to use pleasing elements to educate viewers on the topic. So what I mean here is if you look at this thumbnail, he has red and then blue on the other side. Those are like opposite colors. They kind of go well together. And then another part that's visually pleasing is just it's so easy to read what's on his phone. You can see the 10K, you can see the graph. This thumbnail is just aesthetically pleasing. He's basically centered. 10K a month is behind him. You know, there's no bad cutouts of his hair or his head or anything. It looks like a good thumbnail. And finally, you wanna show your face in your thumbnail. Recently, I've been seeing thumbnails where they're more basic. They don't have the person's face. They're just very minimalistic. Those can work for some channels, but 99% of the time you want your face in the thumbnail. Okay, you wanna put yourself in the thumbnail and make it stand out from the background. So here you can see Eman, he's like clearly cut out from the background. It's not a picture of him like in Italy or something. He's like cut out from the background, easy to see. He has a facial expression. So for facial expressions, you don't wanna do anything crazy like Mr. Beast or something. Ideally, you wanna either do straight face, smiling, smiling with your teeth. You don't wanna do anything with your mouth open and like making weird faces and stuff, especially if you're selling B2B, you wanna look mature, okay? Another important part about making thumbnails is you actually need to title the video correctly because the thumbnail and the title complement each other. First things first, you wanna keep the title short. Less than 50 characters is optimal, but at least what you wanna do is make sure the main part of the title is included in the first 50 words. Because what happens is when you watch the video or when you see the video on your YouTube home feed, but you're on your phone, if it's more than 50 characters, it's gonna cut out everything after that. So you need to keep that in mind. Next, you wanna use numbers in your title. This works really well. It even works on Twitter. I think it's something with like human psychology. It's a weird phenomenon. People like numbers, so you need to abuse that. And finally, you wanna add context to the thumbnail using the title, right? So the title is supposed to deliver just enough information to grab the viewer's attention. Then the title converts the attention into a click. The thumbnail shouldn't repeat what's said in the title. Instead, it should complement it and add on to it. Now, if you want someone to do all of this for you, this entire process takes time. And as a business owner, your time is probably worth upwards of 250 an hour, 500, 750, 1000, you name it, right? So why not outsource it to me and my team? I'll literally do everything except record. So that includes content ideation, scripting, I'll guide you through the recording process, video editing, thumbnail design, SEO, and I'll even post the video for you. And here's what you have to do. Okay, you just have to turn on the camera for 20 to 30 minutes per week. That's it. Okay, it's a completely hands-off process, completely done for you. I'll do all the strategy, editing, you name it, okay? If you're interested in this, you're gonna wanna hit the first link in the description and watch the explainer video for more info. That's everything. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more content on how to get clients through YouTube. If you have any suggestions or any questions for me for a video idea, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to it. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave a dislike and that's it. Peace out.